This is one different caption that is subtract by writing in columns. Columns means again we have to put kg, kilogram and gram. Now from, always you know the rule of subtraction, which one is bigger one and which one is after from. That will be upper side, 6 kilogram, 870 gram. From means bigger number and after from whatever the number is, that will be upper side. Now here we have 4 kilogram, 350 gram. So we have to do it, subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. 7 minus 5, 2. 8 minus 3, 5. So here we have gram. And 6 minus 4, we have 2. So no need to write here. Here already we have written. You just write the answer. That is 2 kilogram, 520 gram. This is how we subtract any weights by writing in columns. First we have to write the units, kilogram, gram. Then we will see which one is the bigger number. Bigger number will be upper side. Smaller number will be lower side. Then we subtract it. The answer is 0, 7 minus 5, 2, 8 minus 3, 5, 6 minus 4, 2. So here we have 2 kilogram, 520 grams. Next we have measuring capacity. What is capacity? The amount that a container or space can hold. Again I repeat, the amount that a container or a space can hold. That is called its capacity. So here look at here. Liquid, the amount that a container or space can hold. So this is liquid ink, very small in amount. Here, here, again more than that, more than that. Then we have this one, more than that, and then this one, that is this one. So, we have units, milliliter, for smallest, smallest we have milliliter. Then we have liter, so we have two units for that, milliliter and liter. Here it is bottle of two liters, here it is milliliter. So for smaller, cap, for smaller cont content, we will use milliliter and for bigger we will use liter. So now we have measuring capacity. Now first what is capacity? The amount that a container or space can hold. The amount that a container or a space can hold for liquid. For liquid. Here we have ink. Ink. This is small. So here capacity of this ink pot is very small and here we have bottle so for that we use milliliter and for this we use liter for bigger size for bigger capacity so sometimes we have milk in a bowl or in a spoon that is milliliter when milk is in a bottle that is of liter like here we have juice aloe vera juice this is in liter this is milliliter and this one, this one is in milliliter. So here again capacity, measuring capacity means milliliter and liter. Liter, bigger one and milliliter. These are the two units for capacity. Initial symbols for liter we have L and for milliliter we have ML. And 1 liter, we have 1000 milliliter. 1 liter, we have 1000 milliliter. Liters and milliliter. These are the units for measuring capacity. Now you know very well what is capacity. So for liquids, we use these units that are liter and milliliter. For liter, we use L. And for milliliter, we use ml. And one liter, we have 1000 milliliter. So how you will measure if we have 5 liters? Then what will you do? 5 into 1000. So here we have 5000 milliliter. If we have 9 liters, 
means 9 into 1000 liter. So here we have 9000 milliliter. So don't now, here one thing more that here we have written liter, 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 liter. But this is wrong. This is wrong. Why this is wrong? We are converting liter into milliliter. So we have to put here milliliter. Now this is right. Now this is right. Milliliter, milliliter, milliliter. Whenever you are converting any, any number into small number, you have to use the unit of this one. So whenever you are converting liter into milliliter, don't put here L, liter. It will be give you wrong calculation. Your sum will be wrong. You have to write milliliter. 5 liter is equal to 5 into 1000. So we have 5000 milliliter. 9 liter, 9 into 1000. So we have 9000 milliliter.